Hello there, people of the internet. How's everyone doing today? I'm doing all right. Thanks for asking. So today we're doing two different things. One thing, I got a new mouse for my computer. Uh, so far, it, I mean, there's times where I try moving it and it decides not to move, which is really, like, irritating. Like, I don't really know why it does that. Like, it almost looks like there's a lag on the computer, but there's not. That's just the way this mouse is. So I might swap back to my old one or get a different one, but with how fast I move around, I don't think it's going to really matter. Uh, second thing, uh, today's my day off, and I decided to get drunk and play some Minecraft. Now, whenever I say drunk, I mean, like, drunk. Like, oh god, you guys know how, uh, never mind. There is, there is, like, a couple different classifications of, or levels of hammered. There is... Like, the drunk to where you catch a buzz, then after that, you're, like, drunk to where you're, you don't really care what's going on around you, but you're still conscious of what's going on around you. And then there's, like, drunk to where you just don't care about anything. Then there's drunk to where your body is just like, whoa, like, you gotta sit down, man. And then whenever you sit down, you continue to drink. Well, I, I sat down and I continue to drink, so... That's about where we're at right now. So, I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't even know what I was doing. What is this? What is this? Man, I gotta stop doing the coolest shit whenever... Wow, that looks cool. I gotta stop doing the coolest shit whenever I'm, like, super toasted. Man, I built a whole other thing extension onto my house, and I don't even remember it. Alright, well, it's still kind of cool, I suppose. Let's hop down here. Alright, we're going to go ahead and do what I normally do whenever I'm drunk and can't think for myself. Let's go ahead and ask Reddit what they want me to do. Okay, it says build a farm. We already did that. Make additional rooms for the house. Already did that. Bookshelves, got that. Uh, it says make a full stack of iron. Make diamond tools. I did those. Uh, build shacks near my house for future villagers. <laughs> uh, we already have that. <laughs> we got plenty of that. We got to figure out how to get villagers, I guess. Build something from redstone. We did that with uh, those railroads over there. I guess we could start like making some defensive structures for my house. That would be cool, I suppose. Okay. All right, this this is a good idea. This wants me to build a structure around my nether portal while in the nether. I think that right there is a really good idea. Let me go ahead and see what I have left over here that I can possibly use. Get rid of the, Actually, we're probably going to want those. Where the hell did they go? Oh, they didn't go anywhere. They're still there. Perfect. Look at that door. It's made of spruce. <laughs> we got a tree. We got a tree in my game named Spruce Willis. Oh, that shit kills me. Okay, let's go. Okay. Here we are. We're gonna just start laying some of this shit down. Oh my. What's going on, buddy? You're not gonna try attacking me, are you? I feel like I feel like if I wanted to I could kill him right now, but I don't really want to. I don't want to start problems if no problems are going to show up. Fill in this, because why not? Perfect. Oh, not perfect. Not at all perfect. There we go. Much better. Okay, well, let's go ahead and start just making us some walls. Right there will be a doorway. Oh, God. Oh, God. He wants me dead. He is. He has decided... It is in his best interest to get me killed, and he is succeeding. He is succeeding very well. Get out of here, you. Go somewhere else. Go somewhere else. Oh, God. Uh, this is it. This is where I die. Okay. All right. All right. I see. I see where you're at. Okay. All right. <laughs> that was way too close. <laughs> way too close for comfort. Now everything is burning. <laughs> everything is burning. Can I, like, put it out? <laughs> put it out with the potato. The potato is the greatest defense against fire. I don't know what the firefighters are thinking using, you know, hoses and whatnot to fight their fires, but they're they're dumb. Dumbass firefighters right there. Okay. Uh I don't 
I don't really know what else to do here. So I guess that'll be our doorway. And I guess we're just going to have a low spot right here. Why not? You know, we're going to go ahead and like use the walls here to uh, also build us a shack. Like the wall here is just going to be the wall of our shack. <laughs> this would be so much more fun if the nether portal would stop screaming at me. Like, I get it. Yes. Yes, I know. But you don't have to go into such detail about it. Alright, well now we're out of cobblestone, so I guess we're just gonna settle with granite. We are almost there. We've almost made the shack. No! No, you stay away! I don't want any. I did not sign up for that. How about you do me a favor and... <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna right off the bat kill you. Aha! Uh -huh, yeah, take that. Now you're taking damage. Man, just, just stay away, okay? Just stay away from me. Okay, we got that covered. Now we're gonna just start laying shit out on the roof. Eventually, I'll come back and make this a little bit better. Oh, hold on, we got more cobblestone. That's what I'm talking about. Ah, oh, god fucking damn it. Of course, of course that would happen. Of fucking course. <laughs> I'm just glad that the nether portal wasn't knocked down, because if the nether portal was knocked out, that would mean that I wouldn't be able to get back home. I don't think I have a flint and steel on me. I do not. That would have been really bad. I would not be able to handle that situation. I'm just not sober enough to handle that situation. Okay. Alright, put a door there. Look at that. Fantastic. We got us a shack. That's one genuine shack right there. Put the fires out. Potato is the best tool for putting out fires. Man, look at all these guys around us. What the hell? Gunpowder? What the hell dropped gunpowder? Ah, it was the gas. I didn't know those guys dropped gunpowder, but apparently they do. You know, I could probably get, like, a lot of food and or equipment from, from all these, like, pigmen around here. Not that I would want to, but I could. But I won't. But I could... <laughs> Well, while we're here, let's go ahead and, like, look around this area. If we can just so happen come across, like, a, one of those nether forts, that'd be great. I would like to see some biomes, but I guess that's just not going to happen. What are those? I don't know what those are, but they exist, so I'm curious. More fire? Glad I got my trusty, dusty potato. I can use it to both <laughs> sustain my nutritional values and uh wow that's a far drop I don't want to fall down that way I can use it for all sorts of stuff buddy you like my potato here it's pretty cool isn't it boy I hope whenever I die I don't turn into one of these guys that would be awful why the hell are they like who who came up with the idea of pigmen what are they why what was the logic behind constructing this creature? I gotta tell you right now, though. I really, like, I'm I'm not a big fan of this mouse. Like, it's just so... It's so it's so hard to get accurate... Accuracy out of it, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Okay. Uh, there looks like a pretty straight way down. Okay, cool. Whoa, you guys see that? Look at that. What the hell is that? Is that trying to tell me that there's something there? Well, that would be interesting. I don't know if there's caves in the nether or not. That would be cool if there was. It is going to take me, like, so long to find my way back to the nether portal. What do I have with me? Iron armor and a few enchanted, enchanted things, like... Yeah, I could, I could live if I lost that, so I'm not all that concerned about it. Man, look at all these sons of bitches. Oh, look at that. That's rock right there. Ah, and it hurts. Interesting. Very interesting. I'm going to go ahead and take some of this, and I will use it to build the fences at my house. Oh, yeah, it's, it's so hot. It's too hot to, like, stand on. But whenever it comes to me shoving it into my pocket, it's fine. It'll be absolutely fine. Man, that's a lot of lava rock right there. I was hoping to, like, hit some 
non... Oh, God. <laughs> Hoping to hit some non-flammable ground. Oh, God, I'm sorry. I am sorry. I am so sorry. This is... This ain't good. This ain't good. This is not good. Not good. Not a good situation. Go away. Go somewhere else. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Alrighty. Well, I guess we're doing this now. It's okay. It's okay. This is fine. This is fine. Not fine. Not fine. I'm dead. I've died. I am dead. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> that's yeah. That's a thing. That's fine. There goes that stuff. I guess. What is this? What it? How did? How did this get here? What? That's that's cool. That was cool. I don't even know why I'm why I'm back here. Like at this point, there's nothing. Like, nothing survived that lava. <laughs> there was nothing. <laughs> oh, God. Hi, guys. How you doing? Yeah, good to see ya. Whatever. Man, now I'm all sad. <laughs> Let me see if I can at least find where I was killed. Nah, I don't want to do it. Because then I'll have to find my way back. Alright, well, that stuff is gone. But that's fine. We, we built the shack around the the nether portal in the other world and I didn't have any of my diamond equipment with me so it's not that big of a loss I can always like make more stuff ooh speaking of stuff let's go ahead go feed the chickens see if we can get them to make some babies you know the beauty about minecraft like there's just the world here is so large that like <laughs> that chicken there was like oh can I get in on this no fine I'll just swap over to this guy the world here is so large that you're never gonna genuinely run out of resources like after you tapping area dry you can always just go somewhere else give me that egg ah look more eggs ah look more eggs and I got some cows right there man I am about to actually I could use them for uh, making like a cake or something, but I'm just like throw them on the ground, see if we get any chicken spawning out of them. No? Alright, that was a waste of eggs. I appreciate the effort though. Let me go over here and see what I need to make a cake, and I can like go back and there's probably going to be some eggs. Okay, I need two sugar, three buckets of milk. That's a lot of milk. I need some wheat and one singular egg. That that sounds like stuff I can do. We need to go get some milk. We can grab those from the cows that we have. Uh, hell yeah, I'm making me a fucking cake. I'm surprised I don't need the furnace to do it, but hey, whatever. Can you guys like lay an egg? That'd be that'd be great. Just one singular egg. Come here, Bessie. Oh yeah, that's what I, <laughs> I got. I got milk from Bessie. That's the that's the best kind of milk right there. Mmm, Bessie milk. Oh wait, that was Fred. <laughs> that was Fred's milk. <laughs> Can I milk a horse? Is that something that is possible in this game? Probably not. Okay, well at this point, I guess all we have to do is just wait for some eggs to show up. Ah, look, we got eggs. We got plenty of eggs. We got tons of eggs. Cake. What do I need for the cake? I have I have everything but the wheat. Cake. I'm gonna make me some cakes. Hell yeah, cake. That's a cake right there. I need more milk. <laughs> Come here. That's that's not Bessie or Fred. I don't know who that cow is. I don't know where that cow came from. It just kinda showed up, but man, its milk is like psychedelic. It's making me go for a trip. Alright, now we got us another cake. We got two fucking cakes. That's twice the amount of cakes that I have in real life. How many cakes do you have, huh? I bet it's I bet it's like less than two. I got some polished granite that I can lay out for countertop space. Go ahead and lay this out like right here. Doesn't look bad. I'm gonna lay out more right here. Because why not? Uh, I don't really want to lay any against this wall, because then it'll impede on this right here. So this should be plenty of polished granite. We're going to put a cake right there, and like another cake right, right, I don't know, on the opposite end, like right there. Hooray! Now we have a cake. And I just like, <laughs> I just ate like a sixth of a cake. And it was delicious. 
best fucking cake I've ever had. You've never had cake like mine. I feel like I should organize this stuff. I'm gonna put a chest right there. In this chest is where we're gonna stick, like, the iron and minerals and shit like that. I guess, like, we can stick... Not that. We can stick, like, uh... The stuff from the ground, like the cobblestone, dodorite, do do dodorite, whatever that was, gravel, andesite, uh, just, like, things from the earth, I guess, would be a good, uh, good turning point for that. Okay, well, just from what we've done so far, we have managed to clear out a lot of space over here. Alright, this one right here, this is where we're going to keep, like, the organic stuff. Like, all the flowers and the seeds and the carrots and, like, the meat and whatnot. You know, I I got this rotting flesh, and I don't really know why I have it at this point. We're going to just take that and toss it over there. Get it the hell out of here. I ought to make, like, a furnace or something to just, like, put shit in and, like, burns it. Gets it out of my face. Well, seeing as how much, like, wood and tools and whatnot is already in here, I think that will work just fine. You'll have to forgive the background noise. There's somebody mowing outside. Alright, well, now we are much more organized. And we have, like, at least a little bit of idea of where things would normally be. This right here is like the tools, wood, building equipment, shit I can use to craft with. This, I guess, I'm just going to keep, like, miscellaneous for now. Ooh, bread. Uh, organic stuff and, like, mineral earth-bound, you know, stuff. Like, like things I'd pull out of the dirt. Okay. Alright. Reddit has given me a fantastic idea. We need a bunch of netherrack. So, what we're going to do is we're going to make ourselves some viable defenses using netherrack. We're going to go ahead and sleep. Yeah, I know. I tried to swim in lava to escape zombie pigmen. <laughs> it's just the way I roll, okay? That's, the, that's my way of life. We're going to head into the nether. And we're going to just start digging and grabbing netherrack nether rock whatever this stuff is called at the same time i guess we are also like extending our uh little hut here so it works out for everybody i don't like the hole in the roof we're gonna get rid of that well i ran out of pickaxe so i guess we gotta go back to get another didn't even really think about that no stay away stay away stay out there oh god let me out okay as this world loads and my computer stops lagging so much. God, this mouse fucking sucks. Let me let me swap back to my old mouse. Okay, here we go. This is much better, much smoother. I just wish that the buttons on it worked a little bit better. But hell, this is this is like way easier to control. Alright, cool. So this'll work for now. I need to invest in like a legitimate mouse. Like the mouse I got it was not 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 fantastic not fantastic at all okay put those there that there perfect fantastic in fact we're gonna we are going to we're gonna actually what we're what, what we're legitimately gonna do once we become conscious enough is grab the flint and steel this way we can get back if necessary all right Nice. That is so much easier to control. I mean, that mouse there, the buttons on it feel great, but man, it was not an easy task keeping it going. Like, just the little reader on it, it kept, like, throwing my mouse all over the screen. It was really annoying. Alright, we got, like, two stacks of this nether rack, but I kind of want more. I feel like more would be very beneficial. Some gas down there making some really, really uncomfortable noises. Like, really making me feel like I should, like, not be here right now. That's actually pretty cool. Like, the shack originally was nice and tiny, and I just kind of, like, extended it by digging into the ground. That's not a bad idea. Like, hey, if your house is small, we need, we need some light back here, though. If your house is small, 
then why not just like dig into the ground? Make yourself a basement or something. Man, that'll that'll work. Alright, let's see how far we get with this nether rack here. Okay. We did pretty good. We still have to secure that part of the village as well. But what we're going to do, we don't need it to be like perfect, just like over a good portion of everything around us. We are going to just lay out a level of netherrack. Just pretty much all over the place out here. Like I said, doesn't have to be perfect, doesn't have to be exact. Just enough to burn most of whatever's going to come near us. And we do, in fact, have ourselves a good amount of netherrack. This right here should handle most of our situation. It should also stop a good portion of stuff from the light. It should stop a good portion of stuff from, like, spawning near us. Hopefully, this netherrack doesn't, like, burn down my wall over here. So we're going to have to pay attention to that. I don't think it will if I don't keep the netherrack up against the wall. But... I don't know, I still feel kind of uncomfortable about it. And I don't like... I don't like this. I don't like how these guys could use this water to stop themselves from burning to death. Damn it, there's more water over there. Alright, whatever. How much of this can I cover? Excellent. That's, that's, that's a good portion of stuff that I've covered so far. Alright, there we go. Now my enemies will burn alive, <laughs> and it'll be great. Uh, now that's entertainment. I already hear a skeleton burning alive, which is fantastic. Can't go wrong with that. Alright, now this part here is probably going to be a little tricky. So I'm just going to I'm just gonna kind of wing it right here. I might not get full coverage, but hey, it's whatever. I don't, I don't like that one there. Okay, I don't really foresee anybody showing up over here to get into this area, but just in case they do, I guess I could, like, lay out some things over here. I'm not going to worry about right here, because they're not getting over that wall anyway. Okay, so far, so good. Uh, I was expecting to run out of these by now. Like, I was expecting to really have to go back and find more. But what I'm probably going to have to do is find a significant amount of flint and steel. Man, look at all this water. <laughs> There's no way I'm filling all of this up. So, we're just going to have to hope that the AI isn't smart enough to get around that. Alright, now we got a door right there, so we want to leave some space to get out of. If I ever decide to get the hell out of there. This is gonna, this is gonna so light this tree on fire. Let's just do it now. Oh god! My balls! Ah, my balls! <laughs> okay, let's see how that looks. Wow, look at all that. That's cool. Hey, hey, you're not allowed to stop being on fire. Okay, now the tree is on fire, and that is what we need. We need, like, more of that. You can always tell whenever I'm drunk, because, like, the things I make are very, very haphazard. Alright, well now we have nightfall. Let me just come sleep in this bed. Ah, that's a nice bed right there. Okay, cool. Now we got daylight. Plenty of daylight. Let's go see if my uh, wall's burning down any. I don't really come to this part of the village, so I'm just gonna start lighting shit on fire. Oh god! Oh god! Okay, let's see if... Ah, uh, yep, that is, uh, that is too close. That is too close. Yep, too close. Okay. Stop that. Stop lighting my stop lighting my beautiful wall on fire. <laughs> no, this is horrible. This is not good. <laughs> not not a good thing. Not not a good thing to be happening right now. Ow. I am on fire. Where's all this water that we have around? Ah, uh, much better. Okay. <laughs> well, that was fun. So much for that idea. I guess I can't do that with a wooden wall. <laughs> that was that was that was a good time. Hey, it's a good idea. I just gotta replace this wood with cobblestone, and then I can make it happen. We're gonna have fire all over the place. It's gonna be it's gonna be amazing. You're, you'll see. You'll see what we have going on here. We gotta be very careful, though. We don't want to burn down Spruce Willis. All right, that's like the main concern right now. 
Wow, look at all the chickens, man. It's fucking, this, this is awesome. Look at all the fucking chickens. Hi guys, how y'all doing? Who wants to make sweet, sweet love? I guess you and you. Have fun. Alright, well, at least we, like, know what we need to do next. But, I don't really feel like doing that. So instead, we're going to look at Reddit again. And see what's next on our to-do list. Alright. Reddit wants us to build a fountain. That is something that I can fucking do. Oh man, I'm gonna make the best goddamn fountain that you guys have ever seen. This is gonna be one hell of a fountain. I need... What do I need? I guess like cobblestone would be a good material for the fountain. Ooh, andesite. Andesite and sand. That would make a really cool looking fountain. We're gonna grab these. We need some buckets. Where's the buckets? We got some buckets there. We need a shovel. We need glowstone. Okay. I can make me a fucking fountain. Alright, I think that, like, this spot right here would really benefit from a fountain. So let me break out the shovel. We got andesite. We got all sorts of really cool stuff right here. Uh, we're just gonna, like, dig us a little spot, like, starting right here. Okay. That will work for that. I want a sand bottom. Like, the fountain, I don't want it just, like, be stone. I want something, like, almost natural looking, but at the same time, clearly man-made. And all that sand. Man, that immediately, like, already is looking really good. Okay, now we add in some andesite. Is that the way it's pronounced? Uh, yeah, andesite. There we go. Now we have two individual sets right here. Let's lay these out just like this. Ah, oh, that'll look that'll look really good. Oh hell yeah. That's going to look awesome. Now we need water. Where the hell can I find some water at? I'm going to go ahead and like smash down right here so I can get out here. Wow, look at this wheat farm. Definitely ready to be farmed. Perfect. Now that's a decent amount of water. And stack the buckets. Okay, almost almost done. This this might take a second. Alright. And last finishing touches here. Bam, look at that. Now that is gonna be a pretty fountain here whenever it, you know, turns nighttime. Alright, now along the edges right here. We're going to just lay out a few stairs. I'm going to need like two more stairs <laughs> than I originally anticipated. Okay, that's fine. This is an okay thing. How much more andesite do we have? Three andesite. That's, that's not enough for a complete staircase. Do I have any andesite anywhere? We have gravel. God damn it, don't tell me I have to go underground and look for some fucking andesite. Ah, son of a bitch. Oh, well, whatever. I'm gonna have to go underground anyway, so I'll look for andesite then. Oh, hell yeah. I like, I like the way this lights up. That is gonna be awesome. Let's wait for nighttime. Man, that's gonna be cool. Actually, I feel like that's, like, too many torches. There we go. Got rid of one of each. That should... Actually, actually, yeah, I have a much better idea. You tell I'm drunk because I'll go through and I'll, like, try a bunch of things before I'm satisfied. Okay, put a torch there. Put a torch there. There. And there. Ah, uh, hell yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and set the graphics to fancy. See how well my computer runs it. Alright. Okay. <laughs> that looks a lot better. Hi, guys. And we are running pretty good. Like, I'm not all that concerned about it. I want to go ahead and see my village from, like... Oh, God! I was going to say I want to see it from a distance, but I guess I've changed my mind. Where's that doorway? Where's that doorway? Get out of my village. <laughs> Leave me alone. Go somewhere else. I'm not interested. Not interested. Hi, buddy. How you doing? Go away. Go away. Get out of here. I guess this is a viable defense. We. How many pickaxes to the skull does it take to kill a zombie? Let's find out. 
That is a cool looking little fountain right there. Very pleased with it. We'll have to finish it whenever we get more andesite. Do I have any? I have an apple. Let me see. Do I have any? I got some carrots, I guess. That'll serve as a food source. Ah, oh, look, I have cake. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Just snort us some cake. Alright, well, this was a pretty fun little episode. I mean, I, like, covered the entire place with nether rack in hopes of building a defense, but instead I just kind of burned down my wall. Uh, I built a cool fountain. That was pretty nifty, right? I got really drunk. It was a fantastic time. Uh, nothing is quite as fun as getting toasted and playing Minecraft. Unfortunately, my commentary is not as great as I'd like it, just because of the, you know, inebriation. So it, it does make things a little more difficult. Hi guys, do me a favor, you two, make, make, some, make some children. That'd be great. There we go. Look at the little, look at the little children. Uh, I didn't get much experience from that, though. Hi, guys. How you doing? Oh, yeah, everyone's attention's on me now. Yeah, look what I got for you. Well, that's just too fucking bad. I've only got one, so nobody gets anything whatsoever. Sucks to suck, right? Anyway, guys, like I was saying, thanks for watching. If you like this stuff, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, check out my, my primary YouTube channel. This is only the secondary one in case something happens to that one. Uh, if you want to support this one then go ahead and go subscribe to that one as well. It's a gun channel. It's great. I blow stuff up all the time. But until next time, I will go ahead and talk to you guys later. I am going to make myself another drink and probably hop onto a different game. Just, like, you can only get so drunk and play Minecraft before you just don't, are, are incapable of doing anything else. So this is my house, not yours. Fuck off. <laughs> Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. What the fuck? What the fuck is that? Oh, Nelly! We might be we might be under attack, guys. Oh, jeez. That's not good. Oh, man, I have no armor or anything. Oh, that's, that's not a good thing at all. Let me go ahead and just, like, build some armor real quick. This is a monumental surprise. We got carrots. Okay. Let's get these fuckers out of my village. <laughs> Where are they at? Where are you at, buddy? What do you want? Oh, shit. Shield. A shield would really come in handy before I go face these guys. Wood. Wood. I need wood. Give me give me some wood. Not that kind of wood. Not that kind of wood. Uh, S-H-I. Shield. Perfect. Fantastic. Press that. It's okay. I swear, I am sober enough to handle this invasion. Not really, but it's just how we are. Okay, alright. This is my village, not yours. Get the fuck out. Who wants some? Aw, oh, this is the wrong place for you sons of bitches. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Hi, guy. How you doing? Get out of here. Go. Leave me alone. Something tells me that this guy is locked out of my village... So maybe I don't have to really worry about him. Let me let me go ahead and like set up something to get up here. I don't know. I don't know if I, if this needs to be something I should be concerned about. Hi guys. Hi. Okay. All right. They are attacking me. They are legitimately attacking me. Okay. All right. Hi folks. How you doing? <laughs> Get out of my village. Haha. <laughs> -ha. Now you're dealing with zombies. Never mind. I guess I guess he doesn't have to deal with the zombies. Man, your crossbow is not good, man. Not good. Oh god. I'm using the zombies to my advantage. Go somewhere else. Oh god. Oh god. Oh jeez. Oh no. Ah oh, Christ. Okay. We are over the wall. We gotta get back into the wall. We're back in the wall. At least we got rid of those invaders so that was nice look at all the arrows i have in me though going to my leg and my arm that's not good ominous banner uh what okay cool we're gonna we're gonna take this why is it orange is that like a rarity yeah ominous banner nice we're gonna put this right here 
gonna warn you fuckers to stay away from me and what I'm doing. Probably gonna have to deal with some invading forces here in a little while, so I guess we're gonna go ahead and handle that on, like, the next episode. Because I don't foresee... Oh god, midget zombie, midget zombie, midget zombie, midget... Mi <laughs> creeper! Creeper and midget zombie. Man, this part of the... This part of the village is fucking dangerous. I'm going back to my safe haven. It's probably because I got rid of the wall over there. And the the lack of torches there, I'm sure, doesn't help. Ah, that's going to be fun to fend off. I, I might have to leave. I might have to start over somewhere else. Nah, I got this. My spawn point is here, so I should have no problems handling what I got to handle. I have a literal set of unlimited lives. Brewing stand. What what exactly do I use to brew? What kind of what kind of ingredients do I have? I don't know. I have no idea how to brew, but I'm sure I can figure that out at some point. All right, spider eye. Okay, that's there. Beetroot, apparently nothing. No. Okay. All right. Well, Spotter Eye seems to do something. So, maybe... Ah, oh, I might need some glass bottles. I remember that being a thing. Alright, we got glass bottle. Alright, all it takes is just regular glass. Alright, I'm fine with that. Make us some of these, I guess. Why not? Alright, we're gonna put these... Put this over here, maybe? No? Uh... Okay! I might have to do some research on how to do this, but we'll we'll figure that out later as well. So we're gonna have a very interesting couple of a uh, couple of days in Minecraft because now we got these guys here that want me to die, and I got to figure out the brewing stand and whatnot. So that'll be fun to figure out. Oh, it would be nice to uh, be able to effectively use that, but we'll figure that out on another episode. Thanks for watching, y'all.